G'day, welcome to Accelerate Maths. Today we will learn how the force of an object is affected by the object's mass in kilograms and by its acceleration. In science, a force is a push or a pull on an object. The force depends on the mass of the object. A heavier object has more force than a lighter object. Force also depends on the acceleration of an object. A faster car has more force than a slower car. So the rule is, force equals mass multiplied by acceleration. The force is measured in units called newtons, named after the famous scientist who created this rule. Mass is measured in kilograms, and acceleration is measured in metres per second squared. Let's see an example. A toy train has a mass of 5 kilograms. It accelerates at 2 metres per second squared. What force does it have? OK, let's put this in perspective. A mass of 5 kilograms is the same as a mass of 5 litres of water. The train's acceleration of 2 metres per second squared means that the train speeds up by 2 metres per second every second. That's like speeding up by 7 kilometres per hour every second. Now for the rule. Force equals mass multiplied by acceleration. That's F equals M multiplied by A. The mass of this toy train is 5 kilograms. Its acceleration is 2 metres per second squared. So the force of this toy train is only 10 newtons. To put this in perspective, this toy train could probably knock over a container with one litre of water. If this toy train speeds up even more, it will have more force. The toy train has a mass of 5 kilograms. It accelerates at 3 metres per second squared. What force does it have now? OK, let's put this in perspective. A mass of 5 kilograms is the same as a mass of 5 litres of water. The train's acceleration of 3 metres per second squared means that the train speeds up by 3 metres per second every second, or by about 10 kilometres per hour every second. Now for the rule. Force equals mass multiplied by acceleration. The mass is 5 kilograms. The acceleration is 3 metres per second squared. So the force is 15 newtons. In this example, this real train obviously has more force than the toy train, but why is this? Well, a real train has a greater mass than a toy train, and it can accelerate or speed up faster because of its more powerful engine. Let's use the rule. The force equals the greater mass of 10 tonnes, that's 10,000 kilograms, multiplied by the greater acceleration of 6 metres per second squared. The real train has an enormous force of 60,000 newtons. It could knock over a large truck. The force of this car is 8,000 newtons. It accelerates at 4 metres per second squared. What is the mass of the car? In this example, we will rearrange the rule to find the mass of the object. In the force rule, mass is multiplied by acceleration. But we want the mass as the subject of the rule by itself, so we divide both sides of the equation by the acceleration. The rule for the mass equals force divided by acceleration. The force is 8,000 newtons, divided by the acceleration of 4 metres per second squared. So the mass of the car is 2,000 kilograms. That's 2 tonnes. The force of this car is 10,000 newtons. Its mass is 2 tonnes, or 2,000 kilograms. What is its acceleration? This time we rearrange the force rule to find the acceleration of the object. In the force rule, mass is multiplied by acceleration. But we want the acceleration as the subject of the rule by itself, 
so we divide both sides of the equation by the mass. The rule for the acceleration equals force divided by mass. The force is 10,000 newtons divided by the mass of 2,000 kilograms. So the acceleration of the car is 5 metres per second squared. It will speed up by 5 metres per second every second. This means it speeds up by about 18 kilometres per hour every second. 